What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Evan Ulbricht and today we're gonna to be talking about what's in my camera bag for sports photography. So let's get right into it. Super excited about this. I made a video like two years ago probably, which is actually I think my number one video just talking about my like sports stuff. So yeah, we're gonna come back and uh, get back at it. So right off the bat, got the Canon R5, which is what we're filming on. I uh, got a little road mic up top and it's on a Joby Gorillapod and that is 24 to 70. So this is kind of like my video setup, or if I'm in sports indoors like basketball or something, then the 24 to 70 is super nice, but it is an f2.8. So sometimes I also have this 50 nifty, which is the f1.8, which was like, it was like 150 bucks when I got it on sale, but it is like a perfect lens for that. It's just the only problem is you can't zoom, but for like a prime in low light, it is like amazing and for sports like, it just works so well and it was super cheap. So if you guys like are on a low budget and trying to get into sports that's like indoors or something, definitely get a nifty 50. I think like every camera manufacturer makes it, but I just use Canon. That's kind of just what I started out with and I've never used anything else. Um, my other main lens is the one to 400. Um, doesn't have the best aperture and stuff. Uh, it's f 4.5 to 5.6. But for outdoors and stuff, this thing is a beast. And for like baseball or like soccer, stuff like that, this thing is just like actually insane. And then I have a converter on it because this is the EF, because the RF, they haven't made a version of this. They made a one to 300, uh, which is pretty pricey. And I think that might be F2.8, but I'm not really sure, but would love to get something like that, especially for like surf photography as well. It really works for all like sports photography, so it's like a great all-around lens. Um, definitely would be interested in that when I start making more money. Um, but yeah, I think that would be super cool. Um, one thing that I got recently is a monopod. I probably got this last year during uh, soccer, because if you're doing soccer, or, like football or anything like that, having a monopod is actually like so helpful. And then this one is like from Amazon, like an Amazon Basics one. I think it was like 15 bucks. It has like three different layers and stuff that you can like go up and stuff. Uh, yeah, it has a little handle and it was like 15 bucks. And if I'm doing like soccer photography, this is huge for not even like stabilizing it, but just like having your camera on here. And then it's just like so much easier to f stay on the subject instead of just holding it up. Uh, and then if you're shooting like a long game and stuff, it just makes it easier so you don't have to hold your camera up. So this thing definitely for 15 bucks would totally get that. Um, got the little bag. I think it's a think tank like cable management bag has like ba all my batteries and stuff in there Super nice. I think this thing was like 15 bucks too and I've used it for like four years now So I would definitely recommend one of these for like batteries and stuff like that Got the big battery charger. This is a triple which is like Super helpful. I got it on Amazon too with a couple extra batteries and it was like I think 40 bucks for three batteries and this triple charger, which is super nice because the original one it comes with is only one at a time, which can be very slow. Um, and then I have this anchor, like MagGo, like MagSafe something for my phone and stuff when I'm on the go. So if you have like a long shoot, having one of these is super clutch and then it just snaps on the back of your phone. So then, and it also has a stand as well, which is super nice on the back. And this was like 20 bucks as well. So that's super nice. Um, have a little thing for my SD cards. This is like, it's like a waterproof one, but I don't know if you really like ever need it for waterproof. Just like to be safe and stuff, I think it's, it's important. Um, and then I have a couple drives right here. So I have, this is a Western Digital Drive. I think this is two terabytes. And then I have this as well. This is like a mini Go. Um, this one's one terabyte and this is just like, transferring stuff because you don't really want to keep stuff on the SSDs, but they're super fast. So like I have one in my backpack if I just want to edit stuff and that makes it super easy. And then this one is for like main storage. And then I also have a couple five terabyte ones of these to back them up off of this onto those. Um, I feel like you can really never back up stuff enough. And I actually just had a photographer that I'm working with doing like marketing stuff for. He just lost like he said all of his photos were on one drive and the drive got corrupted. So now I used to like go back and try to find them and stuff in Lightroom. And like he said, some of those were deleted as well. So you really do not want to ever be in that situation. So I always have like the raws and then the ones that I edit on there as well. And then I also in Lightroom, 
I have all like the main files I'll like make folders for to make sure that I never delete those, which is also super important. Um, and then I also have this light right here. This is like super nice. I got this from Amazon as well. It's like super thin and then super bright. Like this is like the first setting and then it goes like, well, it's like blinding. Uh, yeah, I think you can like see it get brighter. But there's an app as well where you can like change the colors and stuff. And it's, it's super cool. I would definitely recommend getting this. I think this was like 25, 30 bucks as well. But if you're doing like any media day stuff, I think this is like huge for that. Uh, like media day stuff or even like filming the video, like just having it right here on is super nice, super helpful and helps balance that light out. So I think that's huge as well. Um, the Joby Gorilla Pod that I have here is also kind of a new addition. That I wouldn't really recommend for sports, but for anything like video or like this or even media day stuff is super helpful. But I would say the best thing that I have is definitely this one to 400. If you don't have a long lens like this, it is like so hard to do anything like baseball or anything. Cause I've gotten some shots like this uh, that were at like 400 and where like some guys making a crazy catch and it's like super zoomed in. Or if you have like a 24 to 70, there's just no way that you can do that even with the crop. So I would definitely recommend get one of these, get it used. I got this one used for my dad. The full price is just kind of crazy unless you're like actually a pro or like actually making money for it. Cause I have a converter on mine as well. So if you guys are looking like I would just get an EF with a converter cause it's so much cheaper. And even Canon has them on sale right now, like new ones with the converters that are just like so much cheaper than the RF. So definitely recommend that. But yeah, that's it for the video. Um, here's the backpack that I use. I think it's just, yeah, a low pro. I've had this for like three years now and it's, it's been amazing. It has a little hard top on here. So then that's where I just have my camera and then it just goes down and then you just grab the camera out. So super nice, especially for like traveling and stuff as well. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, hope you guys saw some of the gear, liked it. And um, yeah, ask any questions in the comments you have about gear that I use or anything else and stuff you wanna see. So thanks for watching. Uh, we're at 200 subs, which is super cool. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the video, really helps me out. And yeah, thanks for watching.